Hello, hello there. Let's do some Bible studies in the in the midst of, of the of the other stuff, right? So I I stumbled on this um, on this Bible verse and the theory about the church being the bride of Christ, the church itself. And you can see this in Ephesians 5, 25, 27, which is like this. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by washing with water through the sword through the word <laughs> and to present her to himself as a radiant church okay and this when, when i read this i think about many things i think about The church, the chapter of the church age, where you have the church, you know, the church age that is described in, in the Bible, I believe, which is the material, the physical church, which, which are these temples, the temples you, you see, right, with, with the, the buildings, you know, the ar architecture, and then the the actual church which is the stone or lime limestone lime and i know that i'm i'm uh, some of you are just thinking what the fuck are you talking about okay but here's the thing, as I've said, the, the woman, the femininity is, is a vessel and I'm telling you that this vessel is a stone and it is the stone heart. Of Christ okay and it's the Holy Grail where where the blood of Christ is poured into it's just so obvious that Peter receiving the keys of heaven is not a person forget about the Apostle it's the stone, the Peter stone, which is also the Holy Grail. Because what is this stone? If not an eye, the eye, the eye devours. It does. It devours life, light. And yeah, so what is the, the church? I told you that the church is the philosopher's stone, more precisely, it is lime. Lime is that church. Limestone, lime, all of it. And that, you see, there is an interdependency, a codependence, maybe even, but a natural codependence between the, the dead 
stone and the living um, source, the source of life into that stone. And so the stone itself is the church. The stone is something we understand to be able to interact with the divine. And that's why it's the church. And this up here is a bit of a joke. It's a bit fun with, with a fruit like that. And um, it's possible to do things like that. This is really fun, you know, a fruit. Who, do, who does he think he is, you know? Well, why not? Okay, so lime is the bride of Christ. Limestone is the stone is the stone heart, the heart of stone. The 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 spiritual mute, the the bride of Christ is the spiritual mute. It is stupid. Oh, sorry, guys, sorry, but um, I'm 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 again beginning to think about. Uh, about regret, forgiveness, uh, when it comes to, you know, what what is the what is supposed what is it supposed to be? A grail must be devoid of life. It must be poured into it. And so it must be a spiritual mute. It must be spiritually stupid. This, uh, this, cha this chalice, the chalice is stupid and it must um, be forgiven for that because that is love. Okay, that is love. You see, and uh, and that is the marriage. And so, this spiritual mute becomes the church because of forgiveness. And that's how life is poured into, into, into vessels, right? That's how it works. And so, yeah. So I'm, I'm amazed by this. I didn't know that the church actually was viewing itself like a bride and when I read this Bible chapter I understand why but again it is a misunderstanding that the current physical uh, archi architecture uh, and the hierarchy of, 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 of priests and all of this that this is the bride of Christ is it's a misunderstanding it is, uh, it is the divine feminine. The divine feminine is forgiven. It's it's our uh, like the 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 woman is the woman is is the mother. It's the matter. It's the matter. It's the physical. It's the materialism. This materialism is is forgiven by the man. Uh, which lives in the clouds of his mind and we 
are more spiritual, I believe. And we forgive the women, you see? That's what it's about. And so when we forgive the women, there is life, you see? And it's quite beautiful, actually. Okay, see you guys. Let's end the video.